वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द सिग्मा बॉन्ड एंड पाई बॉन्ड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द सिग्मा बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म्ड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ एंड टू एंड ओवरलैप एंड टू एंड ओवरलैप इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज हेड टू हेड ओवरलैप लीनियर ओवरलैप और एक्सियल ओवरलैप वाइल द पाई बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म्ड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ पैरल ओवरलैप पैरल ओवरलैप इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द साइड वाइज ओवरलैप और लेटरल ओवरलैप सो सिग्मा बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म बिकॉज ऑफ एंड टू एंड ओवरलैप ऑफ द ऑर्बिटल्स एंड पाई बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म बिकॉज ऑफ द पैरल ओवरलैप ऑफ द ऑर्बिटल्स माई डियर स्टूडेंट सपोज दीज आर टू पी ऑर्बिटल्स वेन दे अंडर गो एंड टू एंड ओवरलैप देन द सिगमा बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म इन विच द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेंसिटी लाइज एग्जैक्टली ऑन द न्यूक्लियर एक्सेस while if the two p atomic orbitals they undergo parallel overlap in this fashion then the electronic density lies above and below the nuclear axis so keep in mind that between two atoms the first formed bond is the sigma bond so the first overlap that will take place between the orbitals of the two atoms that will be the end to end overlap so it is the first formed bond after the formation of sigma bond if the still half filled orbitals are available then they will undergo the parallel overlap and then pi bond will be formed between the two atoms so pi bond is formed after the formation of the sigma bond because between two atoms first of all a single bond is formed that is the sigma bond and if still half filled orbitals are available then second bond and third bond can form and maximum bonds that can form between two atoms that is the three so single bond double bond or triple bond so maximum number of bonds between two atoms that can be the three bonds my dear students sigma bond is a stronger bond and in order to break sigma bond greater energy is required while on the other hand pi bond is a weaker bond and in order to break the pi bond lesser amount of energy is required in case of sigma bond as i have already mentioned that electronic density lies exactly on the nuclear axis while in case of the pi bond the electronic density lies above and below the nuclear axis so you will say that the electronic density of sigma bond is less diffused or less spread that's why we say sigma bond is a less diffused bond while the electronic density of the pi bond remains above and below the nuclear axis so that is more spread and we will say that the electronic density of the pi bond is more diffused and you have often uh, read this line in your books that the pi bond is more diffused bond as compared to the sigma bond and at the end my dear students the maximum and minimum number of sigma bonds between two atoms can be one between two atoms maximum number of sigma bond that will be one minimum that will be one but between two atoms the maximum number of pi bonds can be two and the minimum number of pi bond can be zero for example if there is nitrogen atom then maximum bond that is three bond order is three in this in these three bonds one is the sigma bond and other two are the pi bonds so here the maximum number of pi bond between two atoms that is two is present but if there is a molecule like hydrogen no my dear students in hydrogen molecule only single bond is present so there is no pi bond the number of pi bond is zero so the minimum number of pi bond between two atoms is zero in case of the single bond and maximum number of pi bond between two atoms is two in case of the triple bond so now what kind of overlaps form sigma bond s s sp sp2 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 s sp3 sp3 sp sp sp3 s and sp s these are the overlaps that always form the sigma bond while the pp overlap that may form sigma bond as well as the pi bond but keep in mind mind that pi bond is always formed by the parallel overlap of the p atomic orbitals and hybrid atomic orbitals and my dear students keep in mind that p p overlap can also result in the formation of the sigma bond if there are three half filled p orbitals px py and pz then the px px overlap will form sigma bond py py and pz pz overlap will form the pi bond so it is not always the case that whenever the pp overlap will take place pi bond will form pp overlap can also form sigma bond but once the sigma bond is formed the remaining p orbitals that will overlap in the parallel fashion to form the pi bonds so that is the difference between the sigma and pi bond and it is very important for the multiple choice question also for the short answer question in your final exams 
so you will have to memorize or cram this difference and conceptually you will have to understand this difference between the sigma and pi bond so it was all about the difference between sigma and pi bond take care